Hey everyone, it's Larry from WSTrades.com doing a technical analysis update video on ticker symbol HOOD, which is Robinhood Markets Inc. Uh, still bearish on these guys. They just can't break above this $42 level. Uh, actually, I'd like to play this to the downside, but I'd honestly like to see them make a candle like they did on the 9th and 10th, where you see this wick sticking through that level and then they sell off right through it. I'd like them to do the same thing, make a little move higher so I can collect more premium selling the $42 call. So let's go check it out. Let's see how much that's paying. So we'll just do you know 11 days out. Check out that $42 call. You can get around 90 bucks for it. So yeah, if they can make a move higher, collect more premium that I love that. What's the Delta? Yeah, it's about a 32 Delta. So, uh, or 36 delta sorry so yeah i'd like honestly like to see them make a move higher before i can sell that uh that 42 call but i will also put a trade on and sell the 40 call if they break below this level so yeah either way i'm playing this thing bearish i i don't like them um i think they're going to sell off there's actually some news and if you're following you know all the meme stock stuff you know that everyone's freaking out and they're mad about uh, payment for order flow and there are actually people trying to you know make it illegal uh, today the um, Robin Hood chief legal officer said that payment for order flow is good for retail investors which I don't necessarily think it's good I don't think it's that big of a detriment that people are you know making it out to be because it's just used for uh, like high frequency traders that they're you know, unless you have like a flash crash incident where they just kill the markets, it, it doesn't really affect the price that much. So uh, if they do make payment for order flow illegal, then Robinhood's screwed because I believe it was like 80% of their income comes from them selling your orders to these high frequency traders. So yeah, if they make it illegal, then phew, Robinhood's going to zero. But uh yeah anyways i'm playing them bearish anyway it it doesn't matter to me i'm i'm don't think they're going to break through this 42 dollar level so see how this goes uh volume's a little light on the day i'd like to see this pick up the last hour and blast below this uh about 40 dollar level today and then you know i'm playing it right at that 40 dollar level so yeah look for those two key levels 40 dollars and 42 dollars i don't think they're going above that uh they're probably going to come test the $40 level and then make a move higher and kind of chop around. But yeah, either way, if they make a move through either of those levels, then expect some, you know, pretty big moves.